Hi, sir. What brought you into the ER today? The bugs are back. The bugs? They're all over my legs, and they're sores, too. How long has this been going on for? A few weeks. I came in about two weeks ago for the same reason, too. Oh. But I put canned gravy on my legs because the bugs like it. You did what? Why? My brother brings me canned goods. I thought by putting gravy on my legs, it would help my leg wounds. But I realized the bugs like it, too. Huh. Okay. Let's take a look. Here you go. Oh, God! You... Oh! What is it? Sir, you need to stop putting gravy on your legs. These are maggots. They're literally eating your legs. I know. What do you mean you know? Like I said, I was here about two weeks ago for the same reason. They didn't tell you to stop putting gravy on your legs? They may have mentioned it. I just thought it'd be a good idea. No! No more gravy on your legs! All right, I'll stop. How was I supposed to know? Welcome to the ER. How can I help you? I swallowed an ice cube yesterday. Okay. Did it scratch your throat? No, but I'm scared. It hasn't come out yet. What do you mean it hasn't come out yet? I haven't pooped it out yet. You're not supposed to. But it's been over 24 hours. Shouldn't I have pooped it out by now? No. Excuse me! I'm having chest pain! Right this way, ma'am. We're gonna do an EKG. Please hurry. What is this bandage on your chest? I had a biopsy to check for breast cancer a few days ago. The scar looks fine to me. Let me grab the doctor. I'll be right back. Hey, Doc. What's up, Ben? I got a lady with chest pain in room two. She had a breast biopsy a few days ago. The scar looks fine. Her heart rate's a little high, but the EKG looks normal. All right, I'll be right there. Hi, ma'am. My name is Dr. Wang. I understand you're having some chest pain. Ben filled me in. Everything looks pretty normal right now. I'm going to check your scar. We're going to get some blood work and a urine sample from you, okay? Okay. Have you been using any drugs? Dr dr drugs? What do you mean, drugs? Meth, cocaine, nicotine, Adderall, vapes? No! I have been sober for seven years! I would never! I just have to ask, ma'am. I didn't mean to offend you. Why don't you learn to do your job instead of assuming all patients are on drugs, asshole? Ma'am, it's just a standard question in the ER. There's no need for name-calling. <laughs> Fucking asshole! I'll be back. What the hell was that? I don't know. She just blew up on me. She wasn't like that in triage. Huh. What do you want to do? Get a talk screen on that urine sample. You think she's lying? Only one way to find out. Ma'am, your lab results came back. They found meth in your urine. What? Do you have any idea how it got there? I relapsed last night. Fuck! I see. After seven years! I feel so stupid! This breast cancer has gotten me so stressed out! Look, staying sober isn't easy. But we're gonna get you help, okay? For everything. I'm sorry. You don't have to be sorry. People relapse. Many people do. I promise you're not alone. Okay. I'm gonna bring the doctor back in and we're gonna figure this out. You're gonna be okay. Ma'am, we have already gone over this. You have to remove all of your piercings before going to MRI. I don't understand why. Because the MRI is a magnet. It will rip the piercing off your body. Then you do it, because I'm not doing it. No one here is going to help remove your clit piercing for you. So either you do it yourself, or the MRI will do it for you. Ugh, fine. Thank you. All right, what do we got? 35-year-old female, chief complaint of abdominal pain, says she thinks she's pooping, but she can't get it out. Took four of us to get her here. Why? She's 650 pounds. Oh, get it out of me! It hurts! Oh! Who called it in? Her boyfriend. He's on his way. Help! Please, I can't shit! Are your guys still here? Can they come help lift her legs so I can see what's going on? Fellas, get in here. We got a spread of women's legs. Laura, I'm here, baby! That would be the boyfriend. Great, he can come help too. Everyone, grab a leg. I see something. What is that? Is that a baby? She's having a baby? We're having a baby? I'm having a baby? How did you manage to do that? Love. Help! All this time, we thought it was shit, but it's a baby. If only every shit could be a baby. Oh. Kiss me, Bert. I love you, Laura. <laughs> Will somebody please call labor and delivery? Welcome to the ER. How can I help you? This is my daughter, and she has a fever of 325 degrees. Ma'am, that's not possible. Yes, it is. I checked. How did you check? I touched my oven, and then I touched my daughter. They were the same temperature. 
Was the oven on? Yes. Was it set to 325 degrees? I believe so. Your daughter's going to be fine. Where are you going? To get your discharge papers. So we got your x-rays back, and you weren't kidding. You have two full-sized Fuji apples deep inside your rectum. Yup. Can you just explain to me how this ended up happening again? Well, I wanted to put something up there, naturally. And I had just gone to the farmer's market, mm -hmm. and an apple seemed like a good challenge. So I lubed it up and jammed it in there. I see. But right when it went in, I knew it wasn't coming out. So I came here to get help right away. Okay, but why the second apple? Well, if I was coming into the ER anyway, may as well see how many I can get up there, you know? Ah, of course. The answer is two. The third gave no give whatsoever. That's good to know. Hey, I'm gonna need you to prep the operating room immediately. Yeah. Welcome to the ER. How can I help you? I have these red lumps on my arms. They really hurt. When did those start appearing? A few days ago, I think. But what are they? That is an abscess caused by infection, and you have a few of them. An infection? Am I gonna be okay? Depends. What have you been injecting into your arms? How did you... Have you been using drugs to get high? No! I'm not getting high! Okay, then what are you injecting into your arms? Because it's clearly something, and you should probably stop. You're only 16. Can I just see a doctor, please? Yes. Just a few more questions, and I'll bring you back, okay? Austin, I put a patient in room 2. 16-year-old girl with multiple abscesses on her arms. Multiple abscesses? From what? Drug abuse. Duh. That's what I'm thinking, but she's denying drug abuse. Of course, they always do. Were you able to get a urine sample? Already sent to the lab. Her one other complaint, she's more tired than usual. Oh, 1,000% drug abuse. I guess we'll know soon. I'll go say hi. Hi, Charlotte. My name's Austin. I'm gonna be your nurse today. What's gonna happen to me? Well, these lumps on your arms are filled with pus from an infection. The doctor will come cut them open and drain them for you. You're gonna cut me open? Yes, but we'll numb you first. It won't be painful. Oh no! Can you tell me how you got them? That's okay. I'm gonna go get some supplies. I'll be back. Hey doc, lidocaine's ready for you in room two. I'll be right there. Did her labs come back? Yep, she's clean. No drugs. Really? Yep, whatever she's injecting into her arms, it's not showing up in her urine. Huh. Can you also get me an IND kit and just be ready to wrap her up and get her out of here? Sure thing. The doctor will be in soon. Okay. Look, we know it's not drugs, but it's really important we know how this happened to you so we can help you prevent it from happening again. You don't want to come back to the ER for this. Trust me. I just hate how I look. What do you mean? Everyone makes fun of me for being so pale, and I'm tired of going to tanning salons. So you're getting high because people are making fun of your skin? No, I already told you, I'm not getting high. Then what are you doing? I went to the vitamin store and bought some over-the-counter melanin. I injected it into both my arms. Charlotte, there's no such thing as over-the-counter melanin. You're either born with it or you're not. Yes, there is. I still have the bottle. Look. Charlotte, this is melatonin. It's generic melanin. No, they're different. This is a medication to help your circadian rhythm and sleep, not skin pigmentation. That's probably why you've been so sleepy. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. Okay, who's ready to drain some pus? What just happened in here? Oh my god. How does this? I'll make a cup of coffee for your head. I'll get you up and going out of bed. Turn it to me! Cut my life into pieces. This is my last resort. Suffocation. Austin, hey, I got a patient for you in room two, Mr. Lindsay. He's here for constipation, but has a psych history. Okay, I'll go say hi. I'm gonna try to call you a sitter in the meantime. Thanks. Good luck. Hi, sir. My name is... Oh my god, what are you doing? Pooping. Don't do it there. Go to the bathroom. Oh, okay. Where's the bathroom? I'll show you. Just stop, 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 stop. Hold it, hold it. Rich, can you call housekeeping a room two? What happened? Mr. Lindsay pooped on the floor. Shut the fuck up. Oh. Yes! Are you sure he's here for constipation? <laughs>
<laughs> oh my god. This isn't funny. Oh, relax. It's not like it's the first time it's happened. It's the first time it's happened to me. I almost got it on my shoes. No way. Oh, I'm so glad I gave you this patient. I'm not. It should happen to everyone at least once, like a rite of passage. Smile because it happened. You suck. It's like going through nursing puberty. Oh, nursing poopery! Austin? Okay, Mr. Lindsay, do you have any allergies to medications? Yes, Narcan. What happens when you take Narcan that makes you allergic to it? It takes away my high, and I don't like it. <sighs> Mr. Lindsay, that doesn't count as an allergy. It does to me! That happens to everyone when they get Narcan. I don't like it. <sighs> okay, you're here because you're constipated, right? Sort of. What do you mean, sort of? I put some fentanyl in my butt, and I can't get it out. Is that why you were trying to poop in the room? Yeah. I think I almost got it, though. <sighs> no! Do not try again! Wait! I'm gonna get someone to help us to the bathroom. Just, just wait, okay? Rich, were you able to get that sitter? No, the short staffed again. <sighs> this day cannot get any worse. Can you help me get Mr. Lindsay to the bathroom? I'll be right there. Someone's coming to help us, Mr. Lin... Mr. Lindsay? <gasps> Mr. Lindsay! No! Rich! Help! What happened? He's ODing on fentanyl! I need some Narcan! Where did he get fentanyl? He had it in his butt! Get me a crash cart! Right! 34-year-old male chief complaint of constipation and allergies to Narcan. When asked what happens when the patient takes Narcan, patient states, quote, It takes away my high and I don't like it. End quote. Education provided. Patient was later found overdosed on fentanyl he had hidden in his rectum. RN administered Narcan six times, which saved the patient's life, but ironically caused an allergic reaction, resulting in a severe rash across the patient's body. Patient is now stable, but combative and agitated at staff for ruining his high. Awaiting security. We'll continue to monitor. Ma'am, the ER is not going to give your child a urine test just because you think she's using drugs. Why not? Because that's not what the emergency room is for and your child isn't even here. But I brought you her urine for you to test. We cannot run a urine test on a piece of paper in a Ziploc bag that your child has pissed on. Then how do you do it? We don't! Excuse me! Yes, ma'am. How can I help you? I need to be looked at right away. Something is seriously wrong. Just tell me what's going on. This morning, while I was going to the bathroom, a freaking fly flew out my butthole, okay? You think a fly flew out from... your butthole? Yes! A live fly? Yes! Ma'am, I don't think it's possible for a fly to survive in your body and then fly out. Are you implying that I'm making this up? I'm just saying that it's probably more likely the fly was already in the toilet when you sat down to go to the bathroom. Unbelievable! What? That's exactly what my doctor said when I called him this morning. Well, it's probably because that's what happened. A woman knows her body, and I am 100% certain that that fly flew out my butthole, okay? Ma'am. Please. And I would appreciate it if you could run some tests or do some blood work to see why the hell it's happening. There is no test to check for flies in your butthole. You could take a stool sample, can't you? We are not taking a stool sample. Well then, what are you going to do? Nothing. That's it. I'm leaving. I'm going to another ER and I'm going to have them examine me. Please let us know what you find. Do not make fun of me. If they check my butthole and they find flies up there, I'm going to sue you and this entire hospital. Whoa, what was that about? Oh, nothing. She was threatening to sue the hospital if another ER found flies in her butthole. Oh. Okay. Do you want to go to break? We have a trauma coming. Motorcycle accident. ETA, six minutes. Finally, a real emergency. I'll take it. Whoa, how come you get to take it? Because I called it. That's not how that works. We're a little short-staffed today, Rich. Will you make sure the waiting room patients are okay? Uh, the waiting room... Next motorcycle accident is mine. Stupid waiting room. Ryan Clark, are you here? Nurse, my daughter needs help. Ah! Whoa, just try to relax and tell me what's going on. <laughs> my water broke. She's going into labor. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, just wait. L let me call upstairs. Uh, I think the baby's coming. Mom, is Gary here? He's coming in now. I see him. It's her husband. Fantastic. Austin! What is it? She's going into labor. Where's the doctor? He's still in the trauma. Are you calling labor and delivery? Of course I'm calling labor and delivery. No one's picking up. Okay, wait here. I'll be back.
No, don't leave me! I'm here, honey. Gary, where is the doctor? My daughter is about to give birth. No one is giving birth and he's gonna be here any second now. What if the doctor doesn't get here in time? Are you trained to deliver babies? Uh, yes. In case of extreme emergencies, I am highly trained to deliver a baby, but she's fine. Just keep breathing, ma'am. Have you ever been part of an orgasmic birth? A what? She's always wanted an orgasmic birth. It's supposed to help prevent any subconscious resentment towards your child. Oh, well, whatever you guys want to do, I guess. Okay, honey, the nurse said he's fine with it. You could start now. Oh, honey, you want me to start right now? Yes, hurry. What is happening? Uh, honey, I don't think I can. What? But this is what we planned on. Well, somebody please pick up. Yeah, but your mom's here. And to be honest, it looks pretty crazy down there. I don't think I even know where your clit is anymore. You barely knew before, and that never stopped you. Oh my god, the baby's crowning. I see a head. Somebody get me some towels. Gary, hurry. What if I accidentally poke the baby's eye as it comes out or something? But this is to help our relationship with our child. Well... Do you think everyone can leave the room first? They can't leave, Gary! Well, then I can't do it. I'm sorry. <laughs> Nurse? What? Are you able to help me? Oh, no. I mean, the hospital would never let me, and even if they did, I, I wouldn't. Ah! Oh, my God. Okay, <laughs> baby's coming. Go slow. Deep breaths. Honey, please! I can't! <laughs> I told you, I can't! Here it comes! If my baby girl wants an orgasmic birth, she's gonna get an orgasmic birth. I can't look. Watch his head. Hey guys, hope I didn't miss anything. 24-year-old <laughs> female went into labor during triage in ER waiting room. Upon further assessment, patient's baby was found crowning and patient requested assistance in achieving an orgasmic birth from both husband and myself. After both refused, the patient's mother stepped in and manually helped her daughter achieve her goal in just under 30 seconds, right as the baby arrived. Patient's husband then commented on how quickly the climax occurred, to which the patient's mother replied, quote, Mommy knows best, end quote. Social worker consult requested. Therapy recommended for husband, and law enforcement intervention has also been recommended to observe the entire family. Patient and baby successfully transported to labor and delivery. Did all of that really happen? Why don't you just call labor and delivery first? Ah, okay, stop! No, stop! Rich, stop! Rich, stop! Austin, help! Austin! Austin, help! You see how I come to work? Very demure. I don't wear too much makeup. I don't come showing up with wing liner and lashes. I do a little hair oil on the wig. I do a little tinted moisturizer. I do a little brow gel. Very considerate, very approachable, very demure. Let's be mindful while we're at work, ladies. This is not a fashion show. I will look for you. I will find you. And I will kill you. Excuse me, my girlfriend has an emergency and she needs to be looked at right away. What's going on, sir? Okay, he's being dramatic. It's not really an emergency. Oh, it's an emergency. Okay, just tell me a little bit more about what ha- <laughs> Oh my god, what's that smell? That's why we're here. I read online that yogurt is supposed to be good for maintaining proper normal flora in your gut and your vagina. Oh yes, I've heard the same thing. It's great for maintaining good bacteria within your body and can even help keep a healthy pH balance. See, I told you yogurt's good for you. Yeah, when you eat it. I'm sorry, what's going on? She wasn't eating it. If you weren't eating it, then what were you doing with it? I thought it was supposed to go in my vagina. You know, where the flora is. Oh. How long have you been putting yogurt in your vagina? Several days. Oh my god! Is that what I've been smelling? Yeah. Oh dear. And when did you realize this was a problem? Earlier today, when my boyfriend and I were having sex. Oh. What happened during... I didn't even notice there was a problem. We were only about 30 seconds in when my boyfriend put my pants on and said we have to go to the doctor right away. You think it smells bad? Just imagine the taste. Oh my god! Yes, Mr. Mickelin, how can I help you? I gotta go! I'm dead! Mr. Mickelin, we've already gone over this. You're not dead and you can't leave yet. I am dead! There's no use for me here! It's almost time for your medication and I have to get your blood sugar. How are you gonna get my blood sugar? I'm gonna prick your finger for a drop of blood and then put it into my machine. You can't get my blood! I'm dead! Dead people don't bleed!
If I can prove that you're not dead, will you please stop pushing the call light and go to sleep? How are you gonna do that? You said dead people don't bleed, right? Of course not. Dead people can't bleed. Give me your finger. Ow! Aha! Uh -huh. What do you call that? Well, I'll be damned. I was wrong! I told you. Now please go to bed. Dead people do bleed after all! Welcome to the ER, sir. How can I help you? I had sexual relations with a woman I do not intend to pursue a long-term relationship with. Okay. Were you using protection? No. Was there an accident? Yes. How long ago did this happen? Last night at 7 p.m. on the couch. I just need an approximate time. Doggy style. We have this medication called Plan B. Since this incident happened within 72 hours... Oh yes, I got that for her already. Yesterday, right after we finished. Okay, great. We want to know if there's anything we could do right now to know if she's pregnant. Unfortunately not. She'll have to wait about three weeks to see if she gets her period. If she doesn't, then she could do a pregnancy test. There's no other option? You could do a blood test for faster results, but even then, you're gonna have to wait a couple weeks. Oh, jeez. We're just really anxious because she really doesn't want to be pregnant. I understand. Is there anything she could take to prevent the pregnancy? Any multivitamins, minerals, food? She's already taken it, which is the plan B. There are other options, but those are all prescriptions. There's really no other over-the-counter products she could take. Okay, what about me? What about you? Is there anything I can take to prevent the pregnancy? Any multivitamins? Minerals? No, sir. There is nothing you can take right now to prevent the pregnancy. Uh, are you sure? Have you checked? Yes, I've checked.